Let me get the channel 85 out. Yo. Trap news. To the trap is trap news. I'm Bree Renee, straight from the A. And this your boy Money, Mr. Steal Your Honey, and put that dick in her tummy. Hello. <laughs> Set it out. I see what you did, nigga. Yeah, I, just, I was running out of words. Oh, we're bad. So you had we to down to money. Money, okay. Next All thing, right. nigga, I'm gonna start saying Otis in this motherfucking day. <laughs> this your boy Otis, and I'm playing if you didn't know this. I don't know. Let's do it. <laughs> Do it. Anyway, you already know, we got to start off the trap, filling you in and all the politic news. Um, you know, we still very much in the middle of the presidential um, race. And Vice President Kamala Harris has raised $27 million at a packed out New York City fundraiser, her largest fundraising hall since she took over at the top of the ticket from President Joe Biden. I think that's a really good sign because usually the more money you win means or raise, the more people are supporting you. So it looks like Kamala is leading the races. And I know that she is because Donald Trump running all these dumbass ads. Donald Trump her. worth like $600 million, you know what I thought he was bankrupt. That don't mean he broke. I mean, that just don't, that just mean you don't want the cracker to know you got the money. You got some money. Is that what it is? Yeah, you don't want the bank to know you got some money. That don't mean you broke. <clears throat> yeah, well, um, Kamala also asked for another debate before the elections, but of course, Donald Trump refused to debate her again, obviously, because it's going to show his incompetence. Yeah, that, yeah, we know he's slow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand why niggas got so much faith in him. Like, they really rooting for Donald Trump. Right, them niggas is stupid. Shut up. <laughs> anyway, your vote doesn't count. Right, it's all good. Anyway, but if your vote does count and you can vote, make sure you get out there um, and go ahead and cast your vote because early voting has started. And, of course, you know, if you haven't registered to vote, you still have time to do so in your states. Check the dates for the deadline for that. Uh, speaking of Kamala Harris, Janet Jackson actually repeats false claims about Kamala Harris during the race and her race. Janet Jackson said earlier this week that Kamala Harris was white and not black in an interview by The Guardian. Janet said, well, you know what they supposedly said, that she not black. First of all, Janet, why is you repeating what they supposedly right. said? She said, that's what I heard, that she's Indian. Her father's white. That's what I was told, she added. I mean, I haven't had... Oh, Kamala's dad is white? Indian. Oh. I thought her dad was Indian and her mother was black. I get confused. At this point, I really don't care what her race is. I feel like, uh, what do what does she believe in, okay? And who is she going to fight for? But um, they on Janet Jackson ass about this comment. <clears throat> a man posing as Janet Jackson's manager actually issued an apology on her behalf. He said that her statements were based on misinformation and Ms. Jackson respects Harris' dual heritage as both black and Indian and apologizes for any confusion caused. But you know, like, older black people, because, you know, Janet an auntie now, older black people... Be auntie? She auntie. I bet somebody cry mama. <laughs> <laughs> Janet old as a motherfucker. No, seriously. But that generation, they always believe if you not well, black, you white. Well, her titty would have popped out today. It'd take forever for that bit to come out. She gotta, <laughs> her, her circuit fall all the way down here. We still won't see no nipple. <laughs> oh, wait. You know who took to um, social media to call her out and, and chump her off about it, though? D.L. Hughes. Charles the White. Oh, go ahead. No, D.L. Hughley, he was like, how you gonna talk about somebody not being black and you breathing out of a white woman's nose? Mm. I was like, you know, he ate with that little thing right mm. there, didn't he? 
Anyways, um, yeah, so, uh, Jenny, you might want to sit this one out, sis. Mm -hmm. This ain't this ain't for you. Uh, speaking of sitting something out, it was crazy. The Atlanta protest, Atlanta protest, Cop City protests through ping pong balls at Atlanta City Council members in protest of Mayor's Cop City. That's right, Mayor Andrew, I mean, Andrew, Mayor Andre Dickens and the $90 million Cop City Training Center is expected to be completed in December. And so protesters are requesting a referendum be placed on the ballot to decide the fate of the 85-acre Atlanta Public Safety Training Center. I don't really feel like we need $90 million and 85 acres to be put forth um, training cops. I feel like that money can be better allocated maybe with the educational system, food stamps, like, it's so many other things we could do with $90 million and hell, we could even fix the potholes before we motherfucking, you feel me? Like, and make Bankhead two, uh, two, um, Lane Street again. I don't know why. Yeah, that meeting and shit getting on my nerves, man. For what? Why do we need that I'm used to almost hitting somebody right there. I don't like that. I don't like being cautious. Like, you know. Yeah. <clears throat> So, um, protesters took, I think we have a clip. Let's take a look at it. They still need to help for this. We're going to get them ping pong balls from. Oh, this is planned. This is premeditated. We still have speakers, everyone. Let's respect everyone's right to speak. Hell no. I, I feel like Blake in there somewhere. <laughs> I swear, I feel like Blake in there. They re why he just dumping them out on the ground? Thank you. I oh, didn't even hit nobody with the bitch. No, I'm gonna throw them bitches up top. Right. Uh, and make them even you know, feel me? They make them get up out of there. Now, next time, next time y'all need to go in there with some golf balls. <laughs> we have speakers <laughs> remaining. <laughs> I bet y'all right move around right <laughs> Please respect the right of others to speak. I don't know, but Dick Sporting Good probably made a hell of hell a lot yeah. of money that day on um, ping pong. Hell they yeah. probably sold out. Um, protesters took to Instagram to voice that we need to make clear that we won't stand by as they subvert democracy right before our eyes. So, yeah. Um, I hope. Sorry. Hit my chain. Yeah, I don't have no motherfucking hair on my chest. Whole ass nigga. Whole ass nigga. How about how about you need to get some motherfucking hair on your chest? I'm like poo tank. I'm like poo tank. No, you like an um <laughs> in this bitch. Anyways, clearly nobody was hurt in the ping pong demonstration because nobody got hit. They were just throwing them bitches around. Um, but Speaking of election, you know, voter registration deadline is fastly approaching. It is October 7th, I believe, in the state of Georgia, and it might be across all of the United States. Um, as at close of business day for in-person, online, and by mail on October 7th. So you can actually mail it in if your mail is postmarked by October 7th. So get out there and vote, guys. Exercise your right. Somebody die for that. Speaking of our ancestors and them dying for our right to vote, mm -hmm. let's just send it right over to Christory for a Christory lesson. Set it. <laughs> Set it off. Set it off. Bitch, you going to jail. Welcome to another section of Christory. I told them to give me some real trees up in here, but they ain't want to do it. I guess they go wait to 420. <laughs> Speaking of 420, let's go ahead and get to this. That's ain't got nothing to do with 420. That is the day that I'm going to be graduating from the Electoral College. If you don't know what the Electoral College is, that is the place that picks the presidents because the presidents are mostly picked. But if you do want to participate in the voting registration, you have to be informed about that. Now, everybody don't know this. I just left the barbershop and I asked somebody who they was voting for. This man going to say, I'm voting for Rick James, bitch. I said, oh, the bus show got that. Yeah, you, you would be surprised because, if I'm not mistaken, we had an election some years back, and we had three candidates. And I don't know if y'all remember, but I remember, God damn it, We had three candidates. Either you vote for Hillary Clinton, Donald Trump, who else? D's nuts. Y'all remember that? Y'all remember they did that? I said, it's got to be Caitlyn Jenner. It's got to be. <laughs> but seriously, for voting in Georgia right now, the Georgia voter registration deadline, the deadline is Wednesday, October the 9th, 2024. Again. October the 9th, 2024, the deadline for Georgia. How to register to vote, you can go, if you got a computer, 
Now, I know, it, again, this is a media platform, and on some media platform, we get people that get it fucked up. I remember a woman came out saying, the children in the Bronx don't even know what computers are. I said, you dirty bitch. How you bitch you going to jail? So if you got a computer, <laughs> jump on your desktop, and this is how you register to vote. You go to USA.gov or download the application for registration. You must be a citizen of the United States, yeah. legal resident of Georgia. That means you got to have an address. You can't just be out here sleeping at whole house thinking you're going to get up here and vote. Tell me some nigga, I vote for Trump. Boy, you stay over three bitches' houses. You the same nigga jumping up every morning. Hey, if you ain't up getting to the money. Boy, if that girl said you got to get out because you ain't got no key, just say that. Shit. Damn. Legal resident of Georgia. <laughs> you got to be at least 17 and a half years old. I don't know why they're going to do that, but 17 and a half, 18 years to vote. No felonies. Damn, I came from, I, I mean, I, I'm going to talk to y'all later. What you mean, no felonies? Okay, that's cool. No felonies or currently serving, you can't vote. But apparently, you can run for president if you got a, pres if you got a felony. <laughs> Honestly, you can run for president if you got a felony because we got a president right on the ballot. Right? And um, you may not be ruled mentally incompetent by the court. Now, I don't know what that means, but I think if you get a check, you know what I mean, I think they might be talking to some type of people. I don't know. Again, you may not be ruled mentally incompetent by the court to vote. Again, one more time, register to vote, USA.gov. Please don't forget it. Get out there and vote. And some of y'all might be thinking, vote ain't gonna do shit. <laughs> it probably ain't for you, you know what I mean? But I stress everybody to definitely vote on the local standpoint, you know what I mean? Because I come from a place of the first person that got charged with voter registration. It was a woman named Maggie Bozeman and Julia Wilder. And if you're looking at this on your smartphone, this definitely is a thing for you. That's why they call it a smartphone. So your dumb ass can look on there with somebody trying to tell you what's going on out here, you feel me? The first case of voter fraud was a woman named Maggie Bozeman and a woman named Julia Wilder. They were. They worked for the NAACP. Uh, they were school teachers. What they were doing was giving older people a ride to the polling booth. And when they got to the polling booth, they were being stopped by other white men and white women out there. And uh, basically, it was the Ku Klux Klan. And this was in 1980 or 1979 for the 1980 election. So what they did was throw that woman in jail. Julia Wilder and Maggie Bozeman threw those two women in jail down at the Tutwiler prison down in, uh, in, Al in Alabama. They kicked out our town. Luckily, uh, some people from Tuskegee looked out for her and she stayed up there. And also her husband was the driver for Martin Luther King, so a lot of civil rights people got involved, especially from here. If you ever been in Atlanta, you drive down these streets, Joseph E. Boone, Ralph David Abernathy, Ralph David Abernathy from Huntsville, but he was here. Um, I mean, not Joseph E. Lowry is from Huntsville, my bad. Ralph David Abernathy, he's from Atlanta. Martin Luther King, a lot of the civil rights leaders came down to my hometown in Pickens County, Alabama years ago, you feel me? So they came to help Maggie Bozeman in 1980 with the voter registration, with the voter fraud votes. And they had a march from Carrollton, Alabama, all the way to Selma. That was 184 miles. Way longer than the march from Selma to even Montgomery, you feel me? So I suggest y'all check that out and do your history on that. Her name was Maggie Bozeman. Rest in peace to Maggie Bozeman. Rest in peace to Julia Wilder. That's a real case. I was a little boy when that happened. But when that case happened, that is what pushed Ronald Reagan forward to push forward the Voters' Right Act. So y'all make sure y'all do y'all history on that right there, man. Um, that's our part for voting. Now let's get to it. Everybody getting good because it's NFL Sunday out here. You nigga, let me tell you something. They just found out that a third of the NFL players had CTE and didn't even do it. I knew them niggas had CTE when they didn't stand with Kaepernick. Shit. That's what I knew. Speak, I remember when Kaepernick, I remember that Kaepernick stuff, and I remember something else. Because one thing that might be worse than the NFL players having CTE is some of the NFL owners having CTE. One of them named Jerry Jones. And I think CTE stands for catching testicles easily. Because he out there talking about niggas' dicks. Hey, Jerry Jones, I don't know what you give me probation officer vibes. So out here watching dick. What is going on with that right there? You hear him? He over there on the, somebody on the phone, I think it was Jamie on the phone, you know what I mean? I thought they were talking about <laughs> wrenches and sockets or something. He was like about seven, three, four, you know? My eight inches. When I heard him say, now that nigga dick right there about eight inches, I said, hold on. My phone almost jumped out my hand. I said, bitch, you going to jail. <laughs> what is you doing, Jerry? So, you know, I mean, y'all make sure y'all, I just remember, man, that Jerry Jones was on that picture of um, the kids protesting in Arkansas. 
And they were protesting the kids going into school. Jerry was out there with a the crowd, and a lot of people was like, well, Jerry was a kid when that happened. I said, God damn it, Emmett Till was a kid too. Shit. Now, let's get some straightening on that right there, man. But this is our section of Christory. Had a good time, this section. Um, make sure y'all get out there and vote. If you're, um, if you're not really doing anything else, make sure you support Trap News Update. Make sure you support 85 South. We got a whole media platform right here that's geared to telling people what's really going on out here in the world. You know what I mean? And one more thing, too. Can I tell them? Everybody who's watching this right now, you all are invited to my grandma baby shower. We're going to get you the date. You know what I'm saying? Just make sure y'all stay tuned. You hear me? Back over to you, Money Bag and Bree. Tell Blake you're doing a good job. Justin, too. Day number the Lord. Thank you, Chris, for that Chris 3 lesson. It's time to dive deep. Oh, hell no. Into entertainment. Fuck no. It's getting real <laughs> slippery. Fuck. This week. Uh, Diddy, of course, was arrested last week on federal sex Freaky trafficking. fraud. Yeah. You're a freaky fraud. Um, his actual charges were sex trafficking and racketeering. Because at first I was like... Well, you know, I'm sorry. Go you ahead. know flying a, flying a bitch to you is sex trafficking? Yeah. What the fuck? I can't pay for no flights no more. I ain't you, having no flight. You, you could Apple pay her for the flight nope. and then nope. she could... Nope, no. She could show that in. <laughs> Fly your motherfucking self. There you go. Go ahead. Everybody, hey man, we ain't paying for no flight no more. No, don't, don't, don't pay. Don't. We ain't paying for no flight. Don't do that. Go ahead. Don't put that out there. Go ahead. You can still pay for flight. No, you can't. Just don't fuck. Niggas <laughs> 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 don't want to hear that now, do they? Oh, it's just don't uh, fuck. You can fly her out. Well, I'm gonna spit this shit clean in your face. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no, go ahead. Well, Diddy has been arrested and, de and denied bail in Manhattan, New York. He was charged with sex trafficking, racketeering, conspiracy, and transporting to engage in prostitution. Um, the U.S. magistrate, Judge Robin, say that name. I'm lost. You got to follow Robin the thousand ball. Tarnowski. Mm hmm Ordered Combs be held without bail, arguing that Diddy poses an ongoing and significant danger to the community as he has repeatedly engaged in obstructive conduct and presents a serious risk of flight. Because he do got a, like, private jet. He could get the fuck on. He could get the fuck on. Yeah. He should have um, got the fuck on anyway. He know what's going on. He chilling but, on the beach and shit. Yeah, I don't think he... I don't, Looking for potential victims and shit like that. <laughs> I don't think he ever planned on fleeing. Put this screen on, dog. Don't touch me. This baby oil, put this sunscreen on, dog. If you put me. some baby oil on <laughs> in the sun, you're going to fucking fry, okay? So you put this sunscreen on. Yeah, um, it was really crazy, too. Of course, when the feds raided, they found over 1,000 bottles of baby oil and 748 dildos. Now, I don't know why. Damn! Right, he did. <laughs> God damn! Yeah, I don't know why he needed that many array of dildos. It's like, don't you got your own dick? Why you need that I many like, other I dick? feel like all of them got bad boy embroidered on them. <laughs> he be saying, take that, take that, take that, every time. I think he stick himself and say that. He say that to himself. Oh, wee. Uh-uh. That, that just reminds take me that, of that, that clip of um the audio that they came out that was allegedly Diddy and Meek Mill. <clears throat> Did you hear that audio? Mm -mm. It was wild. He was like, yeah, take that in the I feel ass. like that's AI, bro. I hope, I pray that ain't It true. sounded like them. The Meek Mill, your ass is I. I won't even put that on my dog. I don't even want to put that on Meek Mill, man. Right, Meek Mill did take the Twitter this <clears throat> week to say that he wants to hire a private investigator to see why he is allegedly involved in the, you know, <laughs> claims of this case. But I just want you to know, Meek Mill, we all saw the, the picture of y'all matching shirts. Now, we saw the picture of you matching the shirts with him, and we saw that video of you with your ass tooted up in the pool when he was like, yeah, I like it when you call me daddy. So well, that's why we think you are a part of this and you might have a video. Um, but it's really sad, you know. Also, they said that, um, you know, a book has been released entitled Kim's Lost Words, which was Kim Porter with Didi's um, ex. Well, she was never his wife, but the mother of his children that passed a couple years ago, there's a, a journey of justice from the other side. It's allegedly uh, a book composed of Kim's journal entries during her relationship with the rapper and producer. Now, some of her friends have come out and said that this is not actually her words. Then some people are saying this is it, and this is why um, 
they are alleging that Diddy might have had something to do with her death, uh, especially her ex at the time was Albie Shore. He is calling for an investigation into Kim Porter's death and alleges that the original book notes and claims some person or persons attempting to poison him and attempt to silence him. So I'll be sure, you know, is Quincy's actual father. I, I know. Yeah, and so he's saying that, hey, he actually took the social media to say, Quincy, you need to have your mother's body exhumed, I think is the word, to do a, another... Quincy Jones? No. The child. Quincy. <clears throat> no. I, isn't Quincy Jones dead? Oh, okay, no, don't kill him off. My bad. Um, there, um, but yeah. Um, well, Quincy Jones too now. But but you know, ever since the old Nana up the tailpipe, huh? <laughs> ever since the Diddy, um, this whole fiasco, a lot of music execs and people are stepping down and are stepping away, and even like big people are stepping away from their, their companies. And it's a dub. They, they actually stopped, uh, what's his name, Clive Davis on the street, and they were like, how do you feel about the P. Diddy oh, yeah, thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he tried to act like he didn't remember who P. Diddy was. It's like, no, nigga, you remember, you remember. <clears throat> so um, there is a long list, they call it the Diddy list, with names of celebrities. Diddy list. Mm -hmm. That have visited Diddy's famous private parties and reports of multiple videotapes documenting the wild sex orgies known as the freak offs. Uh, just the name on the list. I just want to throw it. <laughs> oh, damn. What's up, bro? My bad. Oh, damn. Yeah. You should, bro, because that ain't right what he did. Go ahead. Um, <laughs> You've been walking funny lately. If you are a victim, <laughs> we can help seek justice. Um, uh, You've been uh, taking baby steps lately. You ain't used to walk like that when we first. Can we get a shirt made, say justice for justice? See? And then hashtag baby steps at the bottom. <laughs> justice, <laughs> justice for justice. <laughs> justice for justice. Oh, hashtag. Me too. Hashtag baby steps through baby oil. No. Baby steps from baby oil to baby steps. <laughs> we ain't gonna do our boy Justin like that. Okay. Well, a few celebs have spoke out to defend Diddy, and Boosie spoke out and claims that all celebs fly women out for sex, as you just said. And Faison Love and Phaedra Parks are defend also defended Diddy. Now, I don't think that you should defend anybody if you I weren't there. I wouldn't say they were defending them. They was just inquiring. I wouldn't say they was defending. They was just trying to gain a better understanding. Okay. Well, and you know what I think that we should do? Why everybody is making jokes, which we do. I laugh. I laugh and, you know, make the jokes, too. But what we should be doing is sending prayers out to his children because, you know, especially those younger ones and the children of Kim Porter. Oh, shit. If you don't turn your whole hotline off, put it on silence. Now, F Hey, fuck broken play, nigga. Yeah. Pussy ass, nigga. We shoot some real shit, nigga. Hey, wait a minute. I'll get college and make some noise. Let's go, man. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, man, I'm going to hit you in the We're trying again. to handle business and shoot a real show, something you don't know about. <laughs> I, I just we having a good day. <laughs> no, seriously. No, but on a serious note, I do think that we should be sending out our prayers um, to the children of Diddy, especially, like I said, those, the younger ones of Kim Porter, because to... Oh, lose, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? To lose a mom and then to <clears throat> that, to yeah, death, yeah. and then now you're... And then your daddy a goddamn freaky villain. <laughs> Dingling man. <laughs> Diddy's dingling man. The diddler. The, the diddler. The dinglinger. The dingle. Let's see. But seriously, y'all, pray the for the diddler. Kids. Cause to lose a parent. The diddler. The, stop. We can kill it. His, his with baby oil. Just. This. Uh, that's his superpower. That's his superpower. He's spraying it in your eyes. <laughs> He got, these little, he got these little buds he pressed and baby oil shoot out the nipple part in your ass. It's acid. The diddler. He riding in on a dick, on a dildo. That's it. He don't got no cake. That's what he get on. Dexter. Oh my God. No, seriously. We are sending our love to them children. That's all. Um, moving on. Um, Shannon Sharp 
um, it's a lot of freaky shit going on, okay? He returned to ESPN for the first time since his accidental sex video went live on Instagram. This so. nigga got an endorsement, man, for some dick pills, man. He did? I might need to fuck a bitch on live. I ain't lie. No, don't, don't do that. Straight up. Ain't nobody <laughs> gonna be over there but three aunties. Oh, my shit? Yeah. <clears throat> and then who a nigga that just called with his nipple uh, in your video? Uh, uh, uh. Um, Uncle Shannon Sharp, a.k.a. Shay Shay, accidentally went, he's allegedly accidentally went live on Instagram while having sex with an unknown woman named Michelle. Unk can be heard saying explicit things during the ordeal, and Shannon Sharp has since apologized, and he claims that it was an accident, while many think he was trying to dispel rumors that he's secretly gay. And ESPN will not take action against Shannon Sharp. And Paul Pierce weighed in, calling out ESPN on hypocrisy because he was fired for his <sighs> antics on Instagram. Paul, you ain't bringing them no damn money, Paul. There you go. Let's be real. Shannon Sharp got the number one interview on fucking YouTube. You ain't did that, Paul. Go be with the strippers in peace now. <laughs> Pay for your pussy and live your life, man. He did it off camera. You in the money. You went the strippers, then. Come on now. You ain't bringing them folk no money. That'd have been stupid for them to fire Shannon Sharp, my boy. That would have been stupid for them to fire Shannon Sharp. Next right. story. Fucking loser. Uh, uh, yeah, so moving on, I don't know if you knew, but, um, the Revolt World took place here in Atlanta last weekend, um, the, and it was, it was kind of lit, it wasn't as big or, like, packed as I thought it would have been, I think the Diddy stuff is kind of hurting Revolt. Revolt World was light. It was a little light. Damn. Just, it was still good, like, the actual performances and the sets and everything. I myself had a, a panel that was really good. Um, Saucy Santana was there. They had a lot of other famous guest speakers like Cam Newton, Carisha. She had she did Carisha Please, Cameron, Pretty V, Schoolboy Q, Pusha T, Gary Chambers, just to name a few. And then also they had performances by Offset, Coyle Ray, Key Glock, Sukiana, Flo Millie, Cash Cobain, Mariah Sciences, 42 Doug, and Ron 49. And it says money bag, read this. Plus, our very own Trap News anchor, <laughs> Moneybag Mafia, hosted a segment. <laughs> <laughs> Bree Renee hosted a segment, The Business of Beauty. And my name is spelled with one G. Show me some respect. Oh, really? B A G. I thought you was getting beat bag. No, so they had to add See another this little G? bit of ass bag? That's all I got. <laughs> Well, yeah, it was it was lit. Um, like the lineup was super lit. But also during the interview on Carisha, please, she had Boosie Badass as her guest, and he announced that he was suing Mark Zuckerberg for twenty million dollars over his Instagram ban. Yeah, that's real. Cause Boosie ain't even been doing no wild shit. Yeah, he claims he don't even be posting anything yeah, at this latest they time. They hating on him. Get your money, Boosie. That he was banned. Yeah. I don't think you could do that though, cause that's like you can't tell nobody what to do with their platform. No, it's, like, it's, it's, it's damn near personal. That ain't even community guideline. You being personal toward that nigga. Yeah. Huh? They don't like him. They yeah. don't. They don't like him. That's clear. But you can't sue if they don't like you at your house. At their house, you can't get mad. You just gotta leave their house. Yeah, yeah. Video, and when you do your videos, like take some time out to like get off camera and like get that little white shit, <laughs> and then get back on camera. That's probably why. <laughs> yeah, I don't know That's if he gonna why. win. I don't know if he gonna win that lawsuit. But you know who did he win a big ass lawsuit? Who that? T.I. and Tiny, they won a lawsuit for the OMG girls. It was a massive $71 million settlement. 71? $71 million lawsuit. Oh, I need to text this nigga. I need a, I need a, uh, I need yeah. a pay raise. Mm-hmm. They, the jury <laughs> awarded them um, in the OMG girls infringement appropriation against the, it's not on there, y'all, I'm reading. Um, they won a appropriation trial against the LOL surprise doll maker MGA Entertainment. So it was seventeen million in real damages and fifty three million in penuitive damages. I don't even know what that means. Penuitive? That means. <laughs> I don't know what that means, but that's a lot of money, and it's I feel like, like tilt rope. That's the <clears throat> no, for real. Penuitive. But but it, they really did deserve that money though. If you <coughs> yeah. if you were stole my folks shit, man. Yeah, Fuck out here. whole identity and everything. Yeah. So congratulations to them. Like you said, send us some money through the pipeline. Tip. Um. Anyways, uh, Nick Cannon's wilding out live. The final lap comes to Atlanta. So the, that was the last show. That was the last show of the tour. No, I think the tour is called a final lap. Oh. So is that, that's what I want to know. But anyways, it, the Wild and Out live Why are they calling it the final lap? Is that the final lap? It might be on some Frankie Beverly shit. Hitler strikes again. <laughs> <laughs> the Wild and Out live tour um, sold out 
State Farm Arena here in Atlanta while celebrating 20 years of comedy and culture. Of course, special guests were Waka Flocka, Lil Boosie, Lil Boosie been there well this week, eh? Um, Nardo Wick, and of course, 85 South's <laughs> own DC Young Fly. Y'all better clap for my motherfucking brother. The hell? We will not go without clapping. Go ahead. This show did a special tribute to ATL's own, the late, great, rich homie, Quan. Rest in peace, Quan. God damn it. Yeah, rest in peace, Quan. Which is dope because he is a big part of, like... Atlanta. Atlanta and, like you said, just hip-hop culture, of yeah, course. Yeah. And speaking of D.C., he actually had the privilege and honor of delivering a very, very heartfelt speech to rich homie Quan um, and his family at the homegoing ceremony that was here in Atlanta. <coughs> you can see those clips in, in that online as well. It went viral. I like how D.C. always, like... Bring in God and then make you laugh and then make you, you know what I'm saying? He yep, say some deep yep. stuff. I like that. I like that. Shout out to you, DC. Um, and since we on Instagram Live, a lot of shit been going on. Cause Jamie Foxx went live while he was in attendance watching the Cowboys practice with Jerry Jones, who seemingly didn't know the superstar actor was actually on Instagram Live. And during the IG Live, Jerry Jones appears to be making some wild ass comments about the Cowboys. So you got an eight inch dick. <laughs> About their private parts. Wow. Like, who are you talking about? He's like, the Dittler. <laughs> and then Jamie Foxx, like, abruptly got off Instagram live. Like an old white slave on it, too. How you say that shit? Got a, got a eight inch dick. Nigga, I, yeah. I think we got a clip. Let's see what we can hear. That boy got a, that nigga got a dick on it. Jones a cowboy fan too. He really said eight and a half inch dick. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Wow. I didn't even think he saw me on the field. <laughs> Lord, have mercy. I didn't even think he saw me from way over there. At least his sight is still good at that age. Go ahead. Jesus. Well, this is just too ridiculous. So we gonna send it over to Justin for we goddamn ridiculous. Goddamn ridiculous. Appreciate that bag and brief. On today's episode of Goddamn Ridiculous, we are in Stone Mountain, where this lady takes her automobile into the shop for a mere oil change and leave with a twenty-five hundred dollar bill. Drew, hand me that clip, please. A DeKalb County woman says she thought she was just getting an oil change. Well, it ended up maxing out her credit card. You know, they just take advantage of a goddamn woman. Justin Gray reports it happened at a popular they chain see a woman, they the see woman a fucking has trusted bag. for decades. She came into this DeKalb County Tires Plus for an oil change, just an oil change, but somehow Ain't ended up with a, a bill of more than $2,500. That's all I asked for. That's all I came for. Just an oil change. That's all Leonora Kareem says she wanted at this Stone Mountain Tires Plus location. Lord, you I've been going damn to that place for over 30-some years. She even has a Tires Plus credit card. Kareem says the mechanic told her there was a problem with the tire. Yeah, hold, 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 hold right there. Because, look, let me, this, this is for all of you mechanics. And, and shop owners out there. If I bring my fucking automobile in there and tell you all I want is a goddamn oil change, I don't give a fuck what you see on the fucking tire, the rim, the motor, the muffler. I don't give a damn what. If I say I want a goddamn oil change, some bitch, that's what the fuck I mean. Was a now, if I get tire, my ass out there on the highway and the fucking tire blow up and I flip over and I break my goddamn neck, then that's just my business. But when I bring my fucking car inside of your shop and I tell you what the fuck I want done to it, that's what the fuck you do to it. That's way too uh, much for oil change or for whatever you need to replace. I, I'm not. But Kareem says a day later, she was told she owed more than $2,500. I walk in for oil change. That's August the 14th. By August the 15th, the bills from $79 to 2500 Cream says she never signed off on any work. She has a $1,400 credit limit on her Tires Plus credit card, but her friend who came in with her signed up for a Tires Plus credit card that day, too, and the manager threatened to charge the balance to that card. My account is my account. This is, had nothing to do with her. After going back and forth for days, Kareem finally got in writing this $1,399 bill. Because how in the fuck you just do that lady like that, man? Because she, she coming out for a fucking oil change, 
and you tell her something wrong with her tire, even if something was wrong with her tire, what in the fuck did you do to it that you can charge her twenty five goddamn hundred dollars for? I I got my money worth because as soon as you gave me my keys, I'd have ran my fucking truck inside of your goddamn building and tore all that shit up. <laughs> that has been my episode of a goddamn ridiculous for today. Back to you, bag free. Thank you, Justin, for that re goddamn ridiculous news. You know we gotta jump right back in with some crimey, some grimy crime. Um, the murder trial for the slain rapper Young Dolph has started. Um, two out of three of the suspects on trial for murder are Cornelius Smith Jr. and Hernandez Govan. It's like, we, who, what nigga name was Hernandez? Anyways, um, they were both set to go on trial for first degree Hernandez murder. Hernandez Gomez? Hernandez Govan. Go Hernandez. Hernandez oh. Govan. Okay. They were both set to go on trial for first degree murder. Um, on the first day of the murder trial, it's been reported that the two, Cornelius Jr., Corn Cornelius Smith Jr. and Hernandez Govan, will now both testify against the alleged gunman and up-and-coming rapper Justin Johnson, a.k.a. Straight Drop. Straight Drop. Yeah, so allegedly Straight Drop was hired to do the hit from, um, <coughs> um, what's his name? Yo Gotti's brother. brother yeah, uh -huh. What's his name? I forgot. Big, Big Juke. Drill. Big Juke. Big Juke. These names. Big Juke hired Straight Drop uh -huh. to do the drop, uh -huh. okay? On Young Dolph. On Young Dolph. And he allegedly was supposed to give him $100,000, but he only had paid him $800. First of all, you, the math ain't mad because you never supposed to do nothing without at least a 50% deposit. Come on, deposit. bro. What like, the fuck? You supposed to got the 50 up front. Up front. He okay? ain't trust you to kill that nigga. You just, <laughs> last couple of niggas you ain't, you ain't come through, you're like, I'm going to give you 800 this time because I told you to kill one nigga, he shot me. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, they up on the stand, and they are singing and telling it all. I think this just should be a, a testament <clears throat> to all the young niggas in the streets, like, hey, that get this shit. Get your life together, man. Get your life together. This ain't it. It's not. And when you think about it, even if he had got the honey k it still wouldn't have been worth you, your whole life being thrown away. So, yeah, I know just during this trial, of course, we sending prayers out to Young Dolph. Rest in peace, Dolph, man. God damn, man. Y'all kill so many bullshit ass niggas around here. Yeah. Oh, I can't believe I said that. I'm sorry. I don't mean that. <laughs> so many other people y'all can take. But, Goodness gracious. But, anyways, um, there was an officer that has been fired after shooting a harmless dog. What the fuck? They need to take all the guns from police officers at this point. Everybody just need to get a taser and run them nice. I ain't no seat. telling what Teddy was doing, bitch ass nigga. <laughs> well, a federal lawsuit has been filed against the city of Sturgeon. I ain't never heard of that city of Missouri. And one of its police officers for shooting a blind deaf. 13-pound shit zoo named Teddy. Teddy was blind and deaf. What it the is fuck did he be doing? <laughs> Maybe he was trying to take the dog out of his misery. You feel me? Who knows? But by Maybe the dog asked him to kill him. You never know. No. Like, please kill me. I'm you sick of this me? bitch. Come on, now. Anyway, the body camera footage shows the officer arriving. He didn't even know he died. He didn't, he didn't see it coming. Yeah. The body camera, camera footage shows the officer arriving and spending about three minutes with Body cam footage shows the officer walking to the fluffy white shih tzu named Teddy after responding to a call about an injured dog. At first, he sounds as nice as can be. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Here you go. He's trying to get a lasso around the dog's neck. I'm going to take you to get help. But the officer can't seem to get the device to work. He's also not aware that the dog is blind and deaf. Three minutes later, the officer suddenly cocks his gun and opens fire and not just once teddy is dead as officer myron woodson calmly walks away you can hear him call out to a neighbor have the dispatch it in the officer's shadow you can see him wave her off teddy's owner also confronted the officer identified as myron woodson that's not how you handle situation if a dog is a threat to a person and harms a person or shows immediate threat, that's when you use force. His snare pole to try and <clears throat> lasso the 13-pound Shih Tzu mix Teddy who had gotten to a neighbor's backyard. The officer finally gives up and simply pulls out his service weapon and shoots the harmless dog. Bow, 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 bow! It's that booty meat. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's that booty meat. It's that booty meat. 
You been around that Diddy shit too long. You all right? It's the dealer about to get you. If you say booty me three times, he comes. Booty me, booty me, booty me. <laughs> Diddler, Diddler, Diddler. Look at the mirror and say Diddler three times. No, that's, that's crazy. <laughs> um, attorneys Daniel J. Code filed the suit in the United States District Court and is seeking compensa compensation in excess of $1 million. What that, dog? For violation of his rights to the okay. Fourth <laughs> Amendment. <clears throat> so, you know what? That, right. shit, you, that shit, you know what? That should be fucking murder. It because is. Because if you kill a police dog, that's fucking, you kill a police officer. For real? Hell yeah. They treat them, they treat them dog like fucking human. You kill a police dog, you kill the police officer. This nigga's in the in prison right now for life for killing fucking dogs. Yeah, well they should go, he should go to jail too for killing Teddy because that's somebody's <laughs> yeah, yeah. family member. That's a murder, that, you a murderer, guy. Yeah, we that's love a... people love their dogs. Mm -hmm. So RIP Teddy. And we sending our condolences out. Rest there. in peace. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> um, anyways, Toronto based rapper. Um, ra Toronto-based rappers Lady SB and Casino Barnes are arrested in an alleged human sex trafficking ring bus. Damn, everybody got down. This pussy moving state to state, okay? Country to country. According to the reports, the two rappers, along with Casino's brother, are among five individuals who were charged after a five-month-long investigation that claimed the group was involved in criminal activity spanning from September 2019 to September 2024. Um, the group reportedly used physical violence and psychological harm to maintain control and direction of, of influence over the victims. I don't know. So they was coercing bitches? It sounded <coughs> like Lady SB's public image portrayed her as a businesswoman and an artist. However, well, she was in business, all right? The business is selling pussy. However, in a past interview with Adam22, Lady SB hinted at being involved in interesting activities as she talked about her income. Well, Lady SB, like what Smoke SB would say. Succubation. Succubus. <laughs> Selling bitches. Silly ass bitch. Yeah. Uh, well, bitch, you going to jail, like Smoke would say. Texas, this Texas man gets into a shootout with a robot and loses, and then he's arrested. I saw that. That nigga tried to throw a little sheet over that motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> then he got arrested. That motherfucker like, uh-uh. That motherfucker throw the sheet out, throw some tear gas over there. Pin that nigga down. We got a video for that? I think we do. Let's Pin take a look. Pin his ass down. Damn. A closer look at a dramatic East Slavic standoff. Multiple shots were fired and one person was injured. 39-year-old no. Felix De La Rosa J5. was wanted for a parole violation. That's why officers tracked him to the hotel. But when J5. he fired shots, they called in the Lubbock County SWAT team. At one point, we they saw man, and heard him fire a bomb the window. squad. That's J5, bro. That nigga fucked his ass. Tear gas in De La Rosa's hotel room. Initially, De La Rosa tried to fight the robot, even throwing sheets of what looked like towels at it, but that didn't stop the robot from deploying gas. We watched as De La Rosa crawled out of that window and onto the ground where the robot Damn. pinned him until officers took him into custody. <coughs> That's you know crazy. who J5 is? Come on now. I'll take your black card. Out of the movie? What movie? Come on, Bree. This nigga scared. Black uh, man. Oh, yeah, I'm like, I know I've seen him, but I couldn't remember. That's the one with Kenan Ivan Wayans? Is that the Damon? I get him confused. Damon Wayans? Go ahead, Anyways, man. I think that's crazy. Like, how you can get arrested? J5! <laughs> <laughs> that man got arrested by a fucking robot. You was never meant to be a thug. Nah, hey, man, you'd be surprised, man. These folk coming up with some shit these days. These folk got some shit they can point their way and shoot that way. All right. Okay. These folk got mechanical mosquitoes, all type of shit. Bite I seen ass. that yeah, with yeah. the mosquitoes with this the numbers on real. them. They said the mosquitoes <clears throat> is injecting y'all with um, uh, like experimental war, vaccines. If we go to war, it's going to be a big drone fight. It's going to be drone dropping shit. Well, where we going to go? How we going to survive? You know what we going to have to do? Call the Diddler. <laughs> Brewing these, brewing these dicks up to fight crime. Ugh. Somebody get the pillar on the phone. J5. This is crazy. Uh, it's a lot going on in these streets. I think we just need to just go to Blake the Great out there in the streets.
Play the great. Thank you, Money Bag and Brief, for sending it back over to me. How you doing, OG? What's up, baby? It's Trap New, baby. How you doing, baby? What's your name, OG? Tony T. Tony T? Yeah. Man, we out here in Hurricane Diddy, man. How you feeling, man? How you feel about working in Hurricane Diddy, baby? Okay. Hey, y'all fire this nigga. You ain't gonna put me off? Hey, but listen, how you feel about working out here in the hurricane, man? How you can't do it on camera, you don't wanna get fired? I respect that, OG. Hold it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Nah, for sure. I want you to keep your job like For sure. You know for sure. I appreciate you. Though. For sure. Hey, man, hold your hands out. Hey, man, hand sanitizer. Hold your hands out. All right. All right. Hold your hands out. Right. Hold your hands out. That's that Diddy oil right there, baby. That's that Diddy oil, baby. <laughs> Rub it in on you, baby. That's that Diddy oil, baby. <laughs> it's raining, Diddy. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> it's raining, Diddy. Yeah, yeah. Show your ass up out of here. Black the Great, we in the streets. Hurricane Helene, Hella, whatever the fuck you call this bitch. I don't know, but I'm geek the fuck up. You did what I'm saying? Auntie. They go grab Auntie over here. Matter of fact, let's get over here by the Mars bus. Hold on. Oh, whoa, 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 bitch. Hey, hey, hey. Motherfuckers, they gonna splash me like that? Oh shit! Y'all motherfucker, bitch! Fuck wrong with you? Blake the Great, man, we out here in the streets, man. We out here getting splashed up. They got me doing everything, man. My way is out here in the heat of the weather, baby. I might catch the flu out here, but it is what it is. Right across the street, we got McDonald's. Y'all wanna go and make it these? Let's go and make it these. Let's go. Motherfucker, you splashed me. I got something for you. Bitch, I ain't you. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, shit, they splashing me every motherfucking well. Black the Great, we out here in the streets, baby. Trap news. We go get the trap news everywhere. You did what I'm saying? What's up, OG? Hey, Boy, you smack. But hold on, man. What the fuck going on, man? Oh, man. The fuck hey, going on, 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 man? Oh, hey. Yeah, yeah. yeah, where you from? We in South Atlanta, man. No fuck you mean, about. man. Tell them fuck your name. Pop your shit, man. Man, look, I ain't doing too much of nothing, know what I mean? But I'm from West South Atlanta, know what I'm talking about? All over this bitch, know what I mean? Where you from, bitch, dog? Like, nigga, I'm from right here on KK, nigga, you feel me? You hold on, Rick. Whoa, 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 hold on. Hand some oh, ties first, bro. Whoa, whoa, huh? Yeah, man, bro, 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 bro. Yeah. Come on, bro. Hey, 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 you don't want to put no hand some ties on? I ain't gonna nasty the hand ass nigga. You gonna eat with that hand sanitizer? <laughs> what you wanna do? Hey, I was just playing. Hey, I'm just playing, bro. I'm just playing, bro. I'm just playing, gang. Hey, whoa, whoa, how you doing, sister? We just asking everybody before they leave out to put some hand sanitizer on because y'all about to eat, okay? So we just practicing food safety. So will you hold your hands out and put some hand sanitizer on, please? Yeah, huh? No, huh? If we got it right here for you. Oh, you got your own hand sanitizer? Okay, all right. You want some? No, no, no. No, 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 you don't want this. You don't want this. No, no, you don't want this. You don't want the hand sanitizer. Go on. Get the kids up out of here. Get the kids up out of here. Get the kids up out of here. I'm trying to find it. Blake the Great, we out here in the streets, man. Hurricane Helene, it is a motherfucking rain and Oh, I'm sorry, sister. Oh, sister, I'm so sorry. How are you doing today? Roll the window down. How are you doing today? Okay, sister, my name is Blake the Great, and you look good, queen. I love that fro, and I love those glasses. We out here making sure that people are practicing safety etiquette when they eating. You did what I'm saying? Do you got some hand sanitizer on you? Oh. It's in your bag? Okay, well check this out. Before they pass you their food, hold your hand out. I'm put some hand sanitizer on you, baby. Let go that diddy oil right there, baby. That's it right there. Rub it together. No, I ain't P. Diddy. What you mean? Well, nigga, let me get a, uh... Nigga, I ain't P. Diddy, nigga. Bro, listen, bro. We just practicing hand, bro. We just practice safety, bro. Ha, ha, ha.
What? I ain't got no problem. Come on now. Sister, I love you, sister. Get you. Oh, brother, you ain't acting like it's your brother right now. You acting like it is. Nigga, I ain't. How you doing, beautiful? Man, we just making sure that y'all got hand sanitizer on y'all hands. That's it. What's up, OG? How you doing, man? I do door dash. I be fucking with y'all, man. Hey, that manager right there. Hey, boy, he got their ass in that motherfucker like got down. Like they in the military. I'm telling you, shout out. He don't play. He got that guy come to the door with. Over with. Trap news, man. We out here in Hurricane LA, man. We out here getting wet. It's raining, Diddy. I got to get the fuck up out of here. I got to go. I got Diddy all out on me. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. And we... Shit. Play the great trap news. Send, back, send that shit back to Money Bag and Bree, man. We out of here. It's raining, did it? Hallelujah. It's raining, did it? Hey, hey. Moving out of baby oil, Blake, into our next story. Summer Walker. Thank you, Blake the Great, for that news out there on the street. <laughs> Would you say, coming out of Blake? Coming out of baby oil, Blake. Uh, <laughs> well, we got nothing but good news. Uh, Summer Walker. Oh, I love me some Summer Walker. You do. Yeah. She probably will fuck with you. Huh? She probably will fuck with you. Like, she be liking, like, random oh, ass no, niggas. No, I don't like, I mean, her music. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, you is an emotional ass, light skinned nigga. There you go. Yeah. Um, she is supporting the last day of summer by loving on black women while hosting an e pop up shop. Like, you can support. And it's loving called. Loving on black women. I'm trying to do the same thing. I'm going. It's online. So you, huh. can, you can support. How you don't pop up online? Oh, e pop up. It's an e pop up. Oh, uh, what e pop up mean? Like you can go to buyblackwomenshit.com. Oh, you hustling. She don't give a fuck about y'all. Go no, ahead. No, it's all black women brands that'll be um, highlighted on if the website. If that was the case, then you'd have been in person. All right. Well, thank you for supporting, for somebody supporting black women mm -hmm. and buying black women shit. Mm -hmm. um, also, Abbott Elementary's cast, they secure major pay raises ahead of hit comedy's fourth season on ABC. The creator, Quinta Brunson, Tyler James Williams, Cheryl Lee Ralph, Janelle James, and the rest of the cast renegotiated their contracts for a big pay raise, which they well deserve. And I feel like stuff like this helps other black actors um, and shows and creators and writers down the line. The Emmy and Golden Globe winner, Quinta Brunson, who serves as the EP or executive producer on Abbott Elementary, will have an acting salary in the $350,000 to $400,000 Range and I just love it. Yeah, that's what's up. That means we Clap can... for that, yeah. That's money, okay? Cha ching. Sound like some coin to me. Speaking of sounding like coin, our girls, um, if you don't I'm 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 down to zero now anyway. I'm so. about to put that shit in the in that's my it. Stanley Cup. <clears throat> Won't you put it in that witch's brew pot? <laughs> Go ahead. Anyway, shout out to our girls, um, Poor Minds. They actually had a sold out show for Soul. I love that they just in that bag. It actually was a, a sing off. And it's supposedly coming to a city near you. So stay tuned for those dates. I might get up there, twin. You gotta get up there. And rap. I'm gonna rap our, our intro. Travel. Oh, oh you know? God. We, we, might... would, we would love to not hear your ass. Fuck you. I'm gonna just throw that out. You heard what Nav said. Did you hear what he said? No, I didn't. He said that I rap better than you. He said that on, on Broken Play. Yeah, he said he don't know what made you get your bitch ass <laughs> Damn. Because I rap. <laughs> he said that. He said it, not me. Somebody actually tagged me and I'm put gonna go me. to HR about that because I don't like We don't have an HR. Oh, hold on. You want to go to HR? <laughs> yeah, I want to tell you, you about me. <laughs> I'm HR. I want to talk to you about you. <laughs> Anyways, um, other great news coming to a city near you, 85 South Show, um, the big business tour. Who asked somebody to turn on? Right. Well, we grateful for you, Sonny. Um, the, and we're grateful that the 85 South Show Big Business Tour is back on road. You know, October 5th in Jacksonville, Florida. October 6th in Miami, Florida. 
Blake gonna be there. Shout out to Blake. Blake gonna be in the building. Y'all pull up and grab y'all tickets. Also, um, they headed to South Haven, Mississippi. That's Mississippi. Yep. South Haven, Set Mississippi. It out. Set it out. Y'all can pull up and see Smokey um, October 12th. That's October 12th in South Haven, Mississippi. And then October 13th in, ham. in Birmingham, Alabama. Set it off. Gonna be there Set as well. It so off. You can get you a little Chris 3, get you some little laughs, yep. get you a big business yep. tour. Yep. So grab your tickets over on 85southshow.com or, you know, because we're doing a real big on Ticketmaster. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And of course, you just need to download the Channel 85 app if you haven't done so already and check out all new episodes of Trap News. Like, go back and watch all season one and season two because it took us a long time to get season two out. So just go show us some love. On them, okay? Just go watch the old news. Bree Renee and Dra Jack Thriller live October 10th at Uptown Comedy Corner and for a comedy competition. Yes, twins. Please get the tickets. Yes, yeah, so 200 you seaters, but 300 tickets are still available. <laughs> we need y'all. We need y'all. It ain't looking good. We do need y'all. And if anybody ever wanted to try comedy, <laughs> come out because it's a comedy competition. You can um, sign up. And Bree Renee will be performing too. I am going to be performing. Yep, well, you know, I'm a comedic host, so I'm going to do my... I'm going to be hosting and judging. Okay. I'm so, and I'm around a lot of comedians, so I know what's funny and what's not. Okay. Um, so, yeah, you can submit your headshot and your best five-minute set to Worldwide Stream uh -huh. 360 at gmail.com. And uh -huh. guess what you get if you win? Winners get a pay. Okay, we paying. You get up... Well, we not paying. Uptown Comedy Corner is going to be paying. You get a paid feature spot at Uptown Comedy Corner, and you also get to be interviewed by the legendary Jack Thriller on JackThriller.com. So basically, you don't get shit. <laughs> you get some extra <sighs> time. But that's all we have for today. How much is the future face spot? I'll come, shit. I'll come do stuff. Right, if you come, I'll make sure they pay you what you worth, twin. Okay. Don't say no bullshit. A whole hundred dollars. <laughs> <laughs> a whole dub, a hot dub for that ass. We want to get out of the tub. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's all the news that we got for now. I'm Brie Renee, straight from the A. And it's your boy, Money, Mr. Steal Your Honey, and put that dick in her tummy. <laughs> Turn it off. Let me get the Channel 85 out. Yeah. Trap news. Trap news, boy, nigga.